scope on Earth was able to see against the blinding light was an asteroid big enough to destroy an entire city. From behind the sun, asteroid 2002 MN came hurtling towards Earth faster than a speeding bullet. It shot past less than a third the distance to the moon and nobody saw it until three days later when the rock emerged from Earth's shadow into the night sky going away. It looks like the Earth just dodged a bullet. Actually, it was an asteroid. Scientists say it blew by last week at a distance they describe as a close shave. The airline industry would call this a near miss. Scientists who study asteroids and comets called it a problem. The threat of asteroid impacts on the Earth is very real. We know that throughout history this has happened. The craters we see on the moon are examples of the kind of impact history that the Earth has had. But it also happens very rarely. So it's a very unusual kind of hazard. It's a hazard in which the risk in any one year is very low, but it does happen, and if it really did come about on our watch, it could end civilization. These cosmic bullets originate on the far side of Mars, in the main asteroid belt, where a bracelet of celestial debris circles the sun. Millions of rocky fragments, building blocks of a planet that never quite came together when the solar system was formed. What's often depicted as a busy cosmic junkyard is actually more like a big empty speedway. The rocks are far apart and moving very fast, ranging in size from pebbles to boulders to rocks the size of Mount Everest. Occasionally, the tug of Jupiter's enormous gravity drags an asteroid off course, causing it to crash into another asteroid. Some veer away into new orbits that cross the paths of Mars, Earth, Venus or Mercury. Another ring of debris called the Oort Cloud is the source of most comets, which are big, rocky ice balls that orbit the Sun and cross the paths of the inner planets. All the inner planets and our moon bear the scars of numerous asteroid and comet impacts. Uh, we do get hit all the time by pieces of debris from asteroids and comets. In fact, 40,000 tonnes of cosmic debris plummets into the atmosphere every year. We see them every night as shooting stars.